We are increasingly shifting from a system of distributing copies to one where we are making available works. We are making available works through Hulu and YouTube and Netflix and Pandora and Sirius XM in the same way that those of us in the room who are lawyers were having works made available to us on Westlaw and Nexus for years and years and years. And in this shift to making available, all of you who are lawyers know that there's a big difference between delivery as a stream and delivery as a download. But what is that difference? The only difference, because the same bits effectively come to your computer, is digital rights management in the platform that is managing the delivery. The only thing that separates a download from a stream is DRM, is the software of the delivery. And for that reason, 1201 has become this kind of background law that is actually very dominant in the business models we're using. And I have to read you this quotation from 2006. Uh, many of you know that uh, a NGO, uh, uh, a nonprofit named Public Knowledge, is very concerned about privacy and copyright and access to information issues, and was run for many years. Its founder was a woman named Gigi Sohn. I think Gigi's at the FTC? FCC. FCC. Sorry. And in 2006, Gigi wrote this great paper when she was talking about DRM, a little carefully, and she said she'd just come back from the Consumer Electronics Show. Now, this is nine years ago, mind you, but, but also eight years after the DMCA. And she said that DRM, quote, tools protect some of the content and consumers can decide whether the protection is flexible enough for their needs, end quote. Quote, the market for delivering content digitally over new technologies is working, end quote. I think you'd agree with that. And then she said, quote, all of these great developments happened without government intervention, end quote. 1201 is that kind of intervention. It is this background rule which actually is dividing a market and making possible the kind of market creation and market discrimination that is necessary for the full exploitation of the investment we are seeing in the audiovisual world. So while I agree with Ben on the importance of the fundamental copyright rights, I'm just kind of thinking these days, really, we really don't appreciate what we did uh, not even 20 years ago in saying to the world, thou shalt not pick digital locks. Because by doing that, we essentially tamped down what otherwise would have been a technological war between people building defenses and people building digital lock picks. And we have permitted, in essence, perhaps not completely intentionally, a flourishing of markets that people in Congress and people in the Clinton administration could not have imagined 20 years ago.